Okay, so we are going to look at how we can use the markbook function in Google Classroom. So there is my class and one of the tabs um, is marks. And you can see here it's sort of spreadsheet-like and any assignment that you have created in Google Classroom, um, which has a mark, appears here. You can see that there are some assignments that obviously have not been marked and, and um, that's fine because it's a good way of sharing uh, files with students but there are some things that if you do put a mark in there uh, it collates it um, here in this um, spreadsheet look uh, but what I'm going to do is look at getting this data into a spreadsheet uh, to play around with it a bit more. Okay and to download these marks into a spreadsheet you go to any of the assignments in this case I'm going to look at all my uh, homework assignments and go to the gear and you want to copy all marks to a Google Sheet. Now so what I'm trying to do is all my homework assignments that I've um, recorded here in Google Classroom, I just want to make a nice visual summary to see if uh, students have been um, doing them. And so obviously a nice visual way is a graph and you can actually create mini graphs in Google Sheets and they're called sparklines. So even if you just type in um, the spark line and then highlight the cells that you want that spark line to appear in and then it'll figure out um, by default it is a line graph so here is obviously not much line and then there's a little bit of line here but what you can do is this spark line function is really uh, customizable so here's one that I prepared earlier Okay, so we can see from the, the things between the curly brackets, this is where you can add in all your criteria. So first of all, I've said, well, the chart type, instead of the default line graph, I want a column chart, um, and I want it on an axis, and I can change the axis color to whatever um, color I want. Maybe I'll make, in this case, make it nice and uh, blue to match what the, uh, the columns are. And I also want it to count the empty um, cells which have been zeros. So we can see here that in this set of data there's obviously only one time when this particular student got a, um, a mark for homework and then if we copy that down and again to quickly copy it down to a range of cells we can double click that bottom corner or we can just drag it down and now I'm going to have this nice visual summary of when kids have been doing homework. So we can see this student here um, regularly completes his homework, um, this student here um, not so much. So that just saves me sort of scanning backwards and forwards uh, and a whole bunch of long data. So there we are, that is Sparkline. <laughs>